Okay, so 3.5 notes. Operations on functions. So now I'm going to take functions and add, subtract, multiply, and divide them. Now this is not exactly something totally new. You've seen adding polynomials before. You've seen subtracting polynomials before. We have multiplied, foiled, done a two by three before. Okay? The only difference now is we're doing it in function notation. So it looks a little bit different. So for example, if I see f plus g of x, it simply means we're going to take whatever f of x is and add g of x. So in our example, we see f of x right here and g of x right here. f of x is obviously a quadratic and g of x is a line. We're going to add them together. So when we do that, we're going to join like terms, like we always have. So 1x plus 5x is going to be our 6x. Negative 3 plus 1 is going to be negative 2. And the 2x has no way to play with. It's just going to come over here. And that's our new polynomial from joining those two functions together. Subtraction works very much the same way. Notice, we've done this before, we are going to distribute the negative, so it's going to be minus 5x and minus 1. So the 2x squared just kind of hangs out, comes over. 1x minus 5x is negative 4x, and negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. And there's our answer. Now multiplication, we know how to do this. We're going to take the 5x, and multiply it by each of these terms. And we're going to take the 1 and multiply it by each of these terms. And then we're going to join like terms. So 2x squared times 5x is 10x cubed. That's the only one we're going to have with the cubed. We're going to do 5x times x, which is 5x squared, which later ends up getting added to this 2x squared when we combine like terms to give us 7x squared. Then we're going to take 5x times negative 3, which is going to give us negative 15x, which is going to be combined with the 1 times x to give us negative 14x. And then the negative 3 is just going to be on the end. Now, does that seem too fast or confusing? Go ahead and just to do the distribution, and you'll see what you'll get. You'll get 10x cubed plus 5x squared minus 15x, plus 2x squared, plus 1x, minus 3. At that point, you'll join your x squared together and your x's together, and everything else stays by itself. And then with division, f over g of x is the same as f of x over g of x. And we got to remember that the denominator it's g of x in this case, but in, in general, it's the denominator cannot equal zero. So when we look at this one, we have to find out by setting the denominator equal to zero and solving to find out what can it not be. So we solve for x and then say it can't be that. Anything else can go in there, we're fine. So let's get into this. Here's our f of x, here's our g of x, and here's h of x. A quad and two lines. So f plus g just means take x squared minus 4. You can put it in parentheses, you don't have to. When you're adding, it doesn't really matter. I could write it either way plus g of x, which is 2x plus 1. Like I said, really, you could just write it like this. Because the plus doesn't really distribute, so it doesn't make any changes. Now I'm going to join it like terms. x squared has no friends. The 2x has no friends. This negative 4 plus 1 combines, and there you go. x squared plus 2x minus 3. G minus H. Now the parentheses are important because you write the first one, G first, 2X plus 1, minus parentheses H, negative 3X plus 5. And the negative gets distributed 
So you get 2x plus 1 plus 3x, because negative, subtracting a negative is adding, and then minus 5. Again, combine like terms, 5x, 1 minus 5, minus 4. Half of x times g of x. Half of x again is x squared minus 4. Here, front these count. g of x is 2x plus 1. We're going to FOIL. First times first, outer, inner, last. So x squared times 2x is 2x. Don't forget, it's cubed. It's x to the 1. Outer, 1 times x squared is plus x squared. Inner, negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x. And last, negative 4. Notice, in this case, nothing combines. That's my answer. I have a cubic term, a square term, a linear term, and a constant. Now, I calculated that in that order on purpose, but if you did them in a different order, this is how you'd want to write it in descending order. That's standard form. Okay, f of 3 minus h of negative 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug 3 into h, sorry, 3 into f, so x squared minus 4, x squared minus 4. There's f of 3 minus h which is negative 3x plus 5, negative 3, negative 1, sorry, plus 5. Now we're going to simplify. 3 squared is 9, minus 4 in this parentheses, minus, I'm going to clean this up first, negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3 plus 5, I'm taking some baby stuff here, so this ends up being 5, minus 8 or negative 3. Again, I'm going to plug in a negative 2 into f of x, which again is right over here. So negative 2 squared minus 4 times g of 3. g is 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1. Simplify each parentheses. Negative 2 squared is 4. This makes it quite easy. Negative 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. Times, it doesn't matter what we get really, but technically it's going to be 2x3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. And times 0 is 0. And then we do f of x over g of x. x squared minus 4 over 2x plus 1. And we need to find out what the bottom cannot be. So 2x plus 1 equal to 0 minus 1. 2x equals negative 1, x equals negative 1 half, that's what x cannot be. Good, some more practice. Here's f of x, here's g of x. We're going to take f times g, so that's 3x squared minus 2x plus 1, in parentheses, times g of x, x minus 4. Now we're just going to take the x times each item and the negative 4 times each item. So 3x squared times x is 3x cubed, because remember this x to the first. Minus 2x squared, because that's x to the first, plus x. Now the negative 4. Minus 12x squared plus 8x. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. So bring the x along, minus 4. Like terms, x squared 
x cubed in the constant or alone. So that's going to be 3x cubed minus 14x squared plus 9x minus 4. F over G. 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 over x minus 4. So this is simple enough to find what x cannot be. There you go. F of x plus g of x. 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus x minus 4. I'm just writing without parentheses because I don't need it there. So 3x squared is going to come down. Minus 2x plus x is minus 1x or just minus x. And then plus 1 minus 4. 1 minus 4 is minus 3. And now we're going to do the same thing, so we're going to minus them. So it's going to be 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. Here the parentheses are important, the second one at least, x minus 4, because we're going to distribute, make the x negative and the 4 positive. So parentheses gone, 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus x plus 4. Put the x's together, and put the constants together. 3x squared minus 3x plus positive. And do f divided by g plugging in a 2. So f is 3 times 2 squared. Three x squared minus two x plus one divided by g, which was x minus four. And so what we have now is two squared is four times three is twelve minus four plus one over negative 2. 8 plus 1 is 9. Negative 9 halves. Now we're going to add them, putting a negative 1 in. So 3x squared minus 2 times negative 1 plus 1 plus g, which is x minus 4. So, negative 1 squared is 1 times 3 is 3. Negative 2 times negative 1 is plus 2 plus 1 minus 1 minus 4. Now we just go left to right. 5, 6, minus 1, 5 again, minus 4, 1. There we go.